things. You know, my lunch was produced using groundwater. The salad vegetables are grown locally and soda ash is used in the glass in the wine bottle and also used in cement for this building. If I look down at Adelaide's urban landscape, I can see parks, gardens and schools, all of which use groundwater to irrigate their ovals and keeping our city looking beautiful. In my work as a hydrogeologist, I need to understand Adelaide's groundwater resources. We need to know how much there is, where it occurs and its quality so that we can advise government and industry on the best uses of that water. Traditionally, we think of Adelaide receiving much of its water from the Murray and the reservoirs in our hills catchments. Yet down there on the Adelaide Plains, groundwater plays a major role in feeding our city, watering our gardens, sporting grounds and schools, and has been essential in establishing and driving industry. Groundwater is exactly that. It's water from under the ground, which is stored in aquifers. Aquifers are sediments and rocks which can hold and transmit water. The water flows through the tiny pore spaces in the sediment or rock, or in some aquifers through cracks and fractures. This flow is very slow, not the way rivers flow on the surface, but much slower. The aquifers in the Adelaide Plains are known as sedimentary aquifers. They were formed over time from the accumulation of sediments from marine deposits and ancient rivers. Aquifers are mostly filled or recharged through rainfall which seeps down through the ground, but recharge may also occur from the base of creeks and streams to shallow aquifers or leakage from aquifer to aquifer. Over to the east are the Mount Lofty Ranges, and this is the source of much of the groundwater that's found in the deeper sediments on the Adelaide Plains. The rain that falls on the ranges today infiltrates through the fractures in the rocks, down through the sediments and to the Gulf St Vincent. It takes about 17,000 years for a drop of water to make this journey. We access groundwater by drilling into an aquifer and drawing the water up via a pump. The Adelaide Plains have a number of aquifers. These date back in geological time 100 million years to periods known as the Quaternary and Older Tertiary Period. In one location, there may be several different aquifers occurring at various depths below the ground surface, each with a different water quality. Some of these aquifers have good quality, low salinity groundwater, which can be used for irrigating sporting ovals or growing food. This water is quite brackish and can be used for road building or quarrying. But if it's treated to remove the salt, it can actually be used in pharmaceuticals or for food processing. So which aquifers do we use? The deeper aquifers most commonly used by industry and for horticulture are up to 100 metres below ground surface. We know them as the T1 and T2 aquifers. Between the Little Parra River and Waterloo Corner, the best quality water comes from the T1 aquifer and this is used for growing food. The best quality water of the T2 aquifer, coincidentally, occurs as a ribbon beneath the Gawler River. As these aquifers extend further south, they become more saline, but the quality is suitable for irrigation of sporting and school ovals and use by industry. Other younger and shallower aquifers, such as found in the Quaternary sediments, are tapped into via backyard bores, mostly for watering gardens. In some areas, the shallow aquifers are connected to surface waters, such as rivers and dams. We saw an example of this when the Torrens Weir was inadvertently opened in 2009, draining the Torrens Lake. The lake quickly filled to a base level as a result of groundwater inflow. This interconnection between surface water and groundwater is important, as it can extend flows within the creeks and rivers into the drier months, where there is less rain providing water for the environment and keeping animals and vegetation alive. Recently, many local councils have worked to re-establish wetlands as a way of naturally filtering stormwater. These wetlands may create their own connections between surface and groundwater, but we also get involved by deliberately injecting this treated water into aquifers for storage. The T2 aquifer has been the target for many of these projects, which aim to store water under the ground so it is available for later use. So even though you can't see it, groundwater plays an important part in Adelaide's landscape. Unfortunately, there's some signs that we're not using this resource sustainably. And if you'd like to know more about the condition of Adelaide's groundwater resources, please watch the next film in this series. After all, it took 17,000 years for the groundwater to get to us, and it's a very important resource for Adelaide.
show.